Whose side are you on? Jesus or OJ? Welcome everybody to the White Bronco Show with your host Tommy Marks. My name is Aaron Bendersky, and our guest tonight is comedian Brendan Woodruff. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome, Welcome. to the show, Brendan. Hey. All right, so uh, tell us about your show you got coming up. Uh, We're just going to launch right into well, the Yeah, problems? no, I'm fucking – I wanted to hear about this. Okay, well, I'm doing the roast battle on September 15th. Okay, so tell us exactly for the people who are listening. What's the roast battle? It's at the world famous comedy, the comedy store. store. Yeah, it's um, I'm like I'm now like the ambassador of the roast battle. Um, mm-hmm. it's uh, it's two comedians. It's kind of like the comedy version of a rap battle. They do like three pairs of comedians. There's two undercards in a main event. Sometimes there's three undercards, and it's you basically go tit for tat with roast jokes. There's a little more to it in the main event, but the undercards you get like three to four jokes each. You go back and forth, and you got to do the harshest insult that you can. That's like funny and not just plainly mean. And there's judges judging. And there's there's like right? celebrity judges every week. And um, I saw on Instagram that Jim Carrey was one of the judges last week. Yeah, he showed. I don't know if he was one night. of the judges, but he was definitely there. And with did Jeff they change Ross? the name of the roast battle to something else? Because there's a, there's a dispute. With one there's of the one show that's there's the comedy rap battle where it's our actual rap battle, and then there's one that's called Roast Beef. I think that's in Chicago though. Okay. Um, there's some sort of drama that they were outlining on another podcast, but. We don't have to get oh, into yeah. it. Who, who's the know. person I'm, you're uh, you're writing jokes about? Uh, her name is Ariel Chapman. Okay. Do you have any jokes yet? That you're, are you I gonna do. Say I'm not going to do them on the show right now. All right. All right. All right. I wasn't okay, going to only... force, force them out of you, but I just want to make sure you got some. If you could only I, just I do the 12. three of them. Just do all of them. Are you, just do, are you, 12 right are now. you making fun of her name being Ariel? No. Okay. No, 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 no. It's, I uh, I know her decently well, so there's a little more like detail in them than – but yeah. They call her Ariel because she couldn't come up from to the surface whenever she was in the jacuzzi. I don't know. I'm I'm just riffing here. Uh, I would try um, to make a joke about. I'm assuming that's a blowjob joke, correct? What Little Mermaid blowjob right. right. living under the sea? <laughs> the jacuzzi part. Have you Ur- have you performed at the comedy store before? Just the open mic. Just the open mic. Yeah. And what night did you do that on? Because that's the like sun- the craziest the one. Night, Mike. Did you – were there like 60 names and they pulled 20? Yeah, it's out of a hat. I've gotten – just one time I went, they didn't pull my name, but I've only gone like three times. Oh, it's, okay. I don't live in L.A. It's hard for me to right. get up there. I, I live in L.A. and it's – I'm too lazy to go to the comedy store because there's so many fucking people there that it's, it's, it's rigged. It's I feel where like, to be. It's not rigged. No, you can – there's a chance your name will get pulled. Like I've said, I've been pulled twice. It was like my first time and second time going there. I've done uh, bringer shows there. I'm not sure if they're bringer shows or yeah. if they're straight, but uh, I pissed, I'll, we'll call them bring, bringer shows. I pissed off one of the bringer bringer producers there because I like emailed uh, which was, one? I forget, but it was like through the website, and you're, like you're supposed to submit through the website, and then they like book you. Like you got to sell ten tickets. I'm like, well, uh-huh. who's headlining? And there was like some no name headliner. And I was like, dude, I can't. I'm a no name dude. You think I can sell ten tickets for another no name dude? It's not happening. They were like, mm, you need hustle in this game. I'm like, I I don't need to book through you guys then. Yeah, and you're based out of Orange County, right? Yeah. And so who the fuck you don't? You so can't tell, tell him Chappelle is going to play and yeah. fucking, you know tell him Chappelle yeah, is going can, up and then when yeah, he doesn't get there, it's hey you canceled. guys, I've been doing comedy for a year and a half. I'm already opening for Dave Chappelle. Come to my show. <laughs> it's <laughs> a secret. That is not unbelievable. So how long have you been doing comedy? About two and a half years. Two and a half years. Yeah. And uh, how'd, you, how'd you start? You moved back from well, Philadelphia? Well, okay. So this is kind of – when I was in college, I wrote – like every college campus, like every university has their version of The Onion. Like there's the main newspaper and then the joke newspaper. I wrote for the joke. The koala? Or- uh, that's San Diego. <laughs> yeah. um, I was the fish rap live at Santa Cruz. Nice. Um, nice. I, I wrote for them for a good two and a half years um, and then uh, stopped doing comedy. I lost a bunch of weight and I was like, oh, I can't be funny anymore. How fat did you used to be? Uh, 305 pounds. Damn. Uh, Damn. Nice. Congratulations, yeah, thank dude. Thank you. You then, can't. That's, that's awesome. And then uh, Twitter. I, I moved to Philly <laughs> and I stopped, I stopped doing comedy out there. I was doing film stuff. Um, and then I moved back home and then was living with my parents for a year. And then that'll make you start doing comedy again. Right. And Hell yeah. That's, well. that's when I started doing comedy again. Good shit. What nice. what was the funniest thing you wrote when you were writing for that paper in college? There, what's the first thing uh, you like a, to talk about? There's a couple infographics that I did that were pretty funny. Um, and then uh, I wrote I wrote one article. Um, 
every every year we do a spoof of like local newspapers with like stories about nothing. And I did an article about a new stop sign going up that turned it into like a massive political debate um, <laughs> about like free like the conservative side and the liberal side. And it's like you know I I don't know that well one of the lines was uh, every day I'm afraid that my kids are going to get run over without a stop sign. I don't know the amendment super well, but I'm pretty sure the fifth one is freedom from fear. Um, <laughs> So I that I liked that article, and then um, another one I wrote was was right right before I was graduating, um, and it was uh, how to things you can steal from campus that will get the tuition increases back <laughs> every year because the tuition <laughs> went up like seventy five percent. Yeah, I mean it wasn't like go right. steal things; it was like how to sneak free parking and, and that kind of thing. Oh, okay. Um, you know, my trick for free parking was once you get that first ticket. They usually don't notice that it's that same ticket that that was. You just leave it on the window. So you leave it on the window. <laughs> you have hilarious. you have like a week. That's a, I just like I knew what move. parking lots they checked at what times and you're just gonna move your stuff strategically. Um, why did you go to Philadelphia? I had an internship out there. Okay, and what what kind of internship? Film internship. Nice. Tell- Philly is where you go when you want to make it in film. <laughs> right. <laughs> Um, mostly bondage stuff though, right? I uh, no, dun- they were like, a, they were like a, like a little like socially <laughs> conscious, like indie film outfit. They did like documentaries on like immigration and that kind of thing. Uh, awesome. well they're up there. So like Canadian immigrants or were they <laughs> no, going down to Mexico? Philly, Philly is both like one of the most diverse cities in the nation and also one of the most racist cities in the nation. Right. I've um, heard that. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun out there. Did you ever try to do stand up comedy there? I did once and I went to an open mic. And I don't I think I got there early, but they kept bumping me and it was like midnight and I'd work the next day and I was like, I'm going home. And I went home and then I didn't do comedy again out there. You know, I used to live in Philly and I was a boxer and I, I had my wife, Adrian, little kid. And I was always the underdog. I was a smaller white guy, Southpaw. That's a uh, that's crazy. That's a movie called um, uh, Rocky. And um, if you're not sure oh, I thought, I thought if that's that, a movie or not, you're right handed. So. I was I was thinking that was Million Dollar Wait. Baby. Um, no, well, this it, guy, uh, that, it was my life. He's still recovering from years. Coachella and probably the last <laughs> musical festival he went to. So he, uh, he, yeah, yeah, this is a little, little blurred Molly lines. Roll back there right now. No, he blurred the lines between his life and his favorite movies. Please don't make me think of that song right now. <laughs> Blur, which Why? one? Blurred Why lines. Why not? <laughs> that song is terrible. Ironically, I don't blurred, even know. I've never even heard blur, of it. Blurred lines is what he would call with his gay lover that was there when he would uh, insert the Molly into his rectum. And he would take Molly rectally. And this is, we're thinking, might be one of the reasons why he does this. Plugging it uh, I mean, gets that, you higher. Wait, and if is you Blurred put Lines extended, a Robin Thicke song? Yes. Okay, then I now I get this joke that I saw on The Real Husbands of Hollywood. Uh, why just, are you <laughs> watching The Real Husbands the, of Hollywood? Was that the That's joke? That's the Kevin Hart show. It's all oh, comics. Oh, okay, okay. And okay, the, okay, the that's season that's premiere was last night of the third season. Okay. And they uh, – it was it was a good episode, and they he said uh, they made a joke about blurred lines. He's like the only blurred lines he's done were off a uh, mirror on his fucking whatever. I don't know. That that sounds. I like ruined a, it. That, that sounds like a, off of his boyfriend's dick. That's a show I've tried to talk people into, but I think uh, no one even gives it a go from the beginning because you know of the name. Yeah, because it it sounds but it's like, like yeah, they fucked up with that. It sounds like a Bravo a like spinoff of a spinoff of a Bravo show. Right, 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 and um, I, I actually know. Uh, two people who've been on that show that I've done just like uh, open mics with. So okay, yeah, I got I got a little love for that show. Um, tell me about Philadelphia. Did you uh, did you smash a lot of girls there? Um, sure. Yeah. I mean, did, you, did you have sex my, with them? My current girlfriend is probably listening to this, but whatever. When did you? So when did you lose? You lost all the weight and then you moved to Philadelphia. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't lose it in Philadelphia, running no, up the steps. No, I lost it before Philadelphia, and then I okay. moved to Philadelphia and maintained it on the rocky steps. Basically, yeah. And I, haven't looked back. I didn't own a car. Well, I brought my car out there, but for a while I didn't have a car. I had to walk everywhere. And I, it's a small city, so it's, is it everything? Everything, every good or service you need is within like a half mile of wherever you live. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a small city. So you. What's you your favorite don't... place in Philadelphia? Mine, Betsy Ross's house. Betsy Ross's house. I didn't even think – I thought that was like fucking it's, Marie Calendar's. Like, you know how much action person. you can get there? It's the only part of the tour I did. I, I, do, I do remember. have a stage business. It's true. I did finger a girl outside of Independence Hall. Okay. Um, now we're talking. Right. Now we're talking. Yeah, and then my, my – my, the punchline on that is I felt like I was a part of history in that moment because uh. um, I did. You, you showed her freedom. Actually, 
honestly, it was like three in the morning. I didn't realize it was outside of Independence Hall until like a few days later when I was riding my bike by the same street. I was like, oh, that's the street. Oh, that's Independence Hall. That's crazy. Okay. Because <laughs> it was dark. I couldn't see it. See, the thing about getting a hand job at Bessie Ross's house is they don't take the thimbles off their fingers. Oh, God. Uh, Thank yeah. you. <laughs> uh, a thimble's like um, a little metal cup thing, right? With, yeah, to protect your fingers. Here's, yeah, I've used one of those as a condom before. That's probably not your best idea. Uh, it worked. It was um, a plastic pin. If you've had your tetanus shot within the last 10 years, you're probably You might okay. as well just use a shot glass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that Feels thick. Feels better. Think I got a soda can dick, dude? I don't know. Hey, what what's the what was the we were talking about small dicks before the show? What's uh-huh. micro penis? Micro penis. Micro yeah. penis, sure. Yeah, how do you guys know about that? I mean, <laughs> how do I know, know about micro Perso- penis? Personal Cause, experience. Cuz I was have, once once a teenager with no friends in Wikipedia. That's how I know about micro penis. Okay, okay. The uh have you heard of Coro? I, I might have brought it up. I might <laughs> I have brought have it up a on this. for it. Well, yeah, no, no, no. Coro is a little different. Coro is the is uh, actually a prevalent psychosis in Africa that men Get right. where they think their penis has been stolen, and they're convinced. <laughs> oh, they're convinced. My dick has been stolen, yeah. but you're looking at so, it, but it's gone. Yeah, so that's all you got. In okay, Africa, but in the sometimes plans. they convince themselves that their penis has been stolen to the point where the penis actually retracts into their own body. Oh, this is a, oh that's this is crazy. That's thing. like that's Blaine, like Matrix level. Your mind makes it real, kind of shit. Blaine, can we get some uh, confirmation? Don't you dare drink. Uh, no, I will not. No. Stop talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> I said that in confidence. Fuck Not you. confirmation. I just mean, can you look it up so we, uh, we have the a definition I, of Koro? You want him to look in his pants to show you his Koro, the, the whole, the void I just, of I just want him to use Google. I just want him to use Google. It's psychosis. <laughs> it's not uh, hallucination or anything like that. Huh. They, they, they no, just, I like, think something it's a, happens. Or? It is a psychosis. When and you it is say, a by the way, you're like they but, have this in Africa. That's like saying that shit is in Asia somewhere on the whole massive wait, wait, continent. Wait, how old are you? How yeah, old are you? I'm 20, deep, 26. Deep, deep okay, in Africa. We're both 28. Okay. People uh, go have like the most uh, common age for people who go into like crazy psychosis shit is 27. So this could happen. To oh, that's we why can, all those musicians die at 27. Yeah. Well, and people go like crazy 25 to 28. So. Uh, this could happen to us. We could imagine that our what's it called? Coro. Coro. You, you're Cora? You're in a Coro. Shout psych- out to Kevin I, Green. I just like the assumption that you have that neither of you are already going through something. I go Coro and my girlfriend every night. I lose my penis in her. You know, sometimes you sober up and it gets Coro real quick. All right, so so tell us about um, the women in Philadelphia. Oh, why, why, why? Well, you're from Orange County. Okay. Are, where are they hotter? In are Orange they more County? into anal, less into anal? What are we talking yeah, what, about? Here? Uh, Give us the I've anal actually, game breakdown. I've only, I've only ever had anal a couple of times, and it's never gone well. Really? Um, poop, poop situation, or what? No. Was men, it gray? Women. Was it gray? One, one of them passed out. <laughs> oh shit! Because like, there's a nerve up there. You can hit okay, it wait, how when tall you're are pooping. You? Yeah, how tall are you? I'm six six. Okay, dude. Oh, six dude. six. You can hit he's that got, nerve. The kid's got a piece on him, dog. Yeah. He gets up in you, there. You and can it's, hit. It's over. There's this nerve up there that you can hit it when you're pooping if you strain hard enough and like you, it hurts a lot and then uh-huh. you have a shortness of breath and you pass out for like thirty. Well, is seconds. this like a nerve in her back? It's in your butthole, and oh, you can hit it Jesus. with a dick too. And yeah, then a deer leg dick for, like, that you got. And it was, it was horrifying. I was so like, what the fuck is this? So she – wait. She passed out on the bed, uh, bathroom yeah, counter. Yeah, where were we? I feel, I feel like this is – I don't know if I want to talk about this uh, on the radio show. Right, because uh, your girlfriend's listening maybe. Yeah, well, all was, right. But this is the past. You knocked a bitch no, out with a it dick. Was, it's all right. All right. <laughs> all right. Check this out. Coro is a culture-specific <laughs> syndrome in which an individual has an overpowering belief that his or her genitalia are retracting and will disappear despite the lack of any true longstanding changes to the genitals. Coro is also known as shrinking penis, and it is listed in the diagnostic blah, blah, blah. The syndrome occurs worldwide, including Africa. <laughs> well, look. In, in the United States and Europe. Africa. Blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. It's a I'm eliminating it's um, you from ever catching Coro because your dick is so long. You knock women out. Uh, sure. <laughs> so I, I don't think – bragging about it well, that no, way. I'm just saying I think you're, I you're safe. Far, it's safe to say to you're be, never going to have coral. I, I, don't, I don't know how far in there that nerve ending is. It could be like three you inches know, I've in. Caused bleeding. the wrong way. I've caused bleeding from lack of lubrication, but I've never knocked anyone out. That's, um, that's, 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 that's a wait, little much. How long was she out for? Uh, like 30 seconds. You're not out for very long. What did you do during that 30 seconds? Were you freaking I out? Like, out oh, shit. Freaked the I killed her. Yeah. What the fuck is happening? Fuck! <laughs> oh my God! Um, did you at any point during that 
Oh, and when she came, uh, when she like came back she up, did she have like convulsions or anything? Like sometimes they kind of like yeah. twitch. How do you know? <laughs> I I mean I put a, a lot of people to sleep. He's uh he's been in a lot of men, so uh, you know uh, I um uh, that nerves a lot closer in the man body. Uh, I watched a lot of Dexter. Okay. Uh, all right, so. You're in Philadelphia. Did you do anything film-wise? Were you making any film shorts when you were with that production company? I didn't have you had any, access to I didn't, stuff? Or? I didn't really – they didn't let me like – I was an editor. Um, oh, okay. I edited a couple promo things and then there was this one documentary on the Iraq war that they – I was helping edit and then they lost the rights to the book and then I quit because I was like I, I haven't been paid for any of the work I've done and I'm leaving. Um, is uh, is rent expensive out there? Like, what? Oh, I have it's no idea. What super it's super like. cheap. Oh really? It's cheap as fuck. I was stayed. I stayed in two places while I was out there, and um, the first place it was like a old, like abandoned factory that they had then turned into a nice apartment complex, um, and everything was like new and it was like granite counters and then utilities were included and it was big, like big, like vaulted ceilings and shit, and it was six sixty a month with utilities and had a skyline view, and then uh, I moved to South Philly. Granted, the house wasn't. As nice as that apartment, but it functioned for me. You Tell us about I mean? South Philly. Rocky's not from South Philly, man. No, but anyway, so it was, <laughs> it was three. It was like three thirty a month down there for a room in a house with a skyline view as well. Okay. Um. So yeah, it's three thirty. Three thirty. But how many times did you get uh, robbed in South Philly? None. None times. Isn't that the worst we, part though of Philadelphia? My, my roommate had a shit ton of guns. We were never getting robbed. What? Yeah. Why? He's just a. That's usually how you get robbed is when just you know people know you have a shit ton guns. of guns. <laughs> Read the amendment on his way to school. Every yeah. Day. Well, here's what happened too. Because at one point I was like, I, I was like, you have you have to give me and and the other roommate who was there, you have to give a you have to give us each a gun. And he's like, why the fuck would I give you guys guns? And I was like, well, because you have like twelve of them, we have none of them. So there's an imbalance of gun numbers. That's true. <laughs> and he's like, all right. And he's like, you he make a very valid guns. point. Yeah. You just socialist him with some guns. Like, yeah. we're taking. Like you have, like, the people will well, rise no, up. I was like, I was like, I was like, look, I've only, I, I'm, I'm a hundred, I'm sure you won't do anything, but I've only known you for a month, and you have twelve guns. So you know he gave you the one that jams and and doesn't work. No, it had a it bayonet. Happens. It was badass. Oh, really? hey, I let, think he might be listening to this right now too. Um, let me ask you a question. Uh, when you uh, you did an open mic one time in Philly, did you ever do any comedy in college? Yeah, like, I, any stand up. Uh, uh, there's, at the time, there weren't a lot of mics in Santa Cruz. Uh huh. Um, but you did. I did. Yeah, maybe once every two months or so. Not very often. Okay. And then you you come back to Orange County and you just start hitting the open mics. Um. No. Like I said, I lived with my parents for like a year before. I right. Started. But were you doing comedy or no? You're just. No. What were you doing? What were you trying to do? Uh. Honestly. Nothing with film. Film stuff off the ground. Okay. Yeah. Tell tell us about what you're doing with like uh, shorts and shit right now, because you... uh, I'm doing shit with Zach Miller. We're doing it's called well, his character is Hebrew Thunder. Are you doing the Hebrew Thunder? Yeah, stuff? I'm I'm doing all Hebrew Thunder. I'm making those videos, and then, um, nice. and it, then uh, to me, it kind of looks like it's about to be like a a softcore porno release. I, the makes. movies is dropping tomorrow or it's Friday. Dro- it's, right? it's no, it's not. They just they're going to the beach. <laughs> they don't have shirts on. It doesn't make it gay. No, no, no. Um, it's funny. It's fucking funny. Um, and then um, and the then, rollerblades uh, make it gay. Not, not that it would be <laughs> like not that it, I would totally make a fucking gay short. I don't care. Yeah, I yeah, do yeah. not care. Um, but uh, no. And then also, it's there's the sketch comedy channel is Fart Salad that we're trying to get off the ground as well. Nice. Yeah. So, uh, do you have all your own gear and shit? Yeah. Okay. And uh, have you have people kind of like have you kind of networked yourself doing comedy because you can also do film and uh, and shorts and shit like that? Yeah, I don't. I mean, Cause yes, I, yes. I mean, it depends on who's. It's hard to get people to work for free. Um, because I feel like every comic is looking for someone who just has a decent camera and wants to do something funny. You know what I mean? So I feel like people are probably always fucking hitting you up all the time. Then you'd be surprised, or not? Oh, really? Yeah. Well, um, if you want to uh, hide a few cameras, um, well, everyone says they want to, and then no one ever actually winds up messaging me. People forget. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 People just talk. Yeah. Yeah. Those people who talk, they don't have good ideas. No, I mean it's whatever. I don't. You know. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, we both opened for Mitch Fatel. Yes, we did. Like two weeks ago, mm, and um, I don't know if you knew this, but I had like a perfect view of his green room. 
and it was a really small screen room. So I didn't. Yeah, it's, I just it's said like workshop. I just said hello to him. I didn't hang out in that. I didn't even go close to it, but the I could workshop. see where it was. Yeah, I could see where it he was. He was doing tons of blow. No, I wish. I'm just kidding. Just fucking kidding. and uh, and then I could see the stage, and he fucking watched your whole set, man. And oh, he, nice! Yeah, and, he, he, and he was he laughing. Told, he told me that he was he he, he thought that it, well, it was funny. Yeah, well, he wasn't blowing smoke up your ass because I watched him and I was like, "Fuck, man, I gotta tell him that this dude was fucking laughing at his shit." I'm very happy with that. Yeah, dude, and and he was he's hilarious, dude. dude. He's so funny. He I don't, he can make people laugh at some horrible things. <laughs> yeah, he definitely can. Yeah. Yeah, no, his material is really good. Yeah, and I, I had seen well, his face, also, but he's I, got I didn't that, know that, who like, he was. The, the, the weird cadence that he does too. The like, yeah, it's, and it's not that far off from who how he actually talks. Not def, but it's definitely different. It's well, definitely he starts out, he exaggerates embellished. at the beginning, and then towards the end of the show, he doesn't do it quite as much. Right, it must and be exhausting to do because yeah, for his minutes. whole first special uh, is entirely in that voice. Yeah, and it came out in like two thousand. Three, I think. Yeah. They advertised it like crazy. I remember. And that. I wasn't even. I remember that Mitch Fatel was magical. Right, and yeah. it was like, and I just remember seeing that commercial so much. I'm like, I gotta watch this, and I did. Yeah, it was funny. And, it was, remember, and that one was really. That's good. what's trippy is like that's a dude I remember watching as on a kid. TV in like yeah high school and like early college. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, and he's he was fucking great. Yeah, he was awesome. Um, I want to just do a little shout out here. We got a birthday today. Um, oh, whose birthday? Is my it? favorite president of all time. Happy birthday, Bill Clinton. Johnson. Oh, Clinton. Of course, <laughs> Bill Clinton. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Big B. Do you yeah, guys know what is. happened with? That's with, what he named his dick, by the way. Hey, what's going on with Hillary Clinton? Check it, it out. She's guys. running for president. But no, no, no. Like, um, a lot of people are mad because she like. Uh, the people are mad at every candidate for some reason in particular. What did, what's what her big thing? Something, something with like she. They lied about their money, right? Uh, that's the thing. They lied about the Clinton Foundation money, and then also she like, I, she like, her government email she's supposed to do on a public server. She did it on a private server and then wiped it because she didn't want people seeing what she was emailing. Um, so that's the scandal. sneaky bitch. Well, yeah. she, I mean, what? She's getting some fucking side D. She probably Bill's had a few back? subscriptions. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm not going to. It's I don't. It's not a concern of mine because I'm not going to vote for her anyway. So it's not it right, right, right. going to be an issue. If I could go to the strip club with anybody in the world, I it would just have to be Bill Clinton because he's like. He lights up a room. He's the most personal guy. Like, he would be the fucking best. Who you know wants I mean? to see me dance? Who would you guys take to a strip club if you could pick anybody? Um, if I could pick anybody, it would be Hillary Clinton watching Bill Clinton. <laughs> That's a good one. Blaine, who would you take? W. Yeah, he would be. W. He would. Yeah. yeah, he would have fun at a strip club. Yeah, I feel like he – every time he goes to a strip club, he acts like a, like a 17-year-old who has been snuck into a strip club for the first time. Oh, man. Dude, if we're doing political – <laughs> If we're doing political figures, I'm going Kissinger. <laughs> Kissinger? <laughs> Kissinger would Henry then try to fuck club. every stripper in the room. Yeah. Listen, you come that's get, what honey. he did. And then he would assassinate every Asian <laughs> stripper in the room. <laughs> you that tomorrow. That's the thing about Kissinger that people don't remember is not only is he like – like I'm, his legacy is controversial, but like he fucked everybody in Washington. Oh, dude. Like, that's what he did. He's really? a piece of shit. Uh, Christopher Hitchens wrote a book about him. Yeah, he's people. He's a war criminal and all that shit. And uh, if anyone's into reading books about fucking that dude, yeah. read fucking Christopher Hitchens' book. It's just – he's never hated someone more in his life than yeah. fucking Kissinger. And that motherfucker committed genocide. He's a he's a scumbag. Say that yeah. word again. Gen- Gen- genocide. Genocide. Genocide, genocide, man. Genocide. I'm, I'm, I'm part – killed a lot I'm, of genes. I'm Jewish. We, we know no, how genocide, to Genocide is when you're playing basketball and Gino's the captain on one side and then <laughs> Gregory's on the other side. I'm on Gino's side. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Uh, no, my girlfriend says bag, bag, like bagel. You know, funny and unknown fact, uh, Kissinger's best friend and they still talk and are pen pals, Noam Chomsky. Noam Chomsky. Yeah, best friends. Little known fact. That's weird because they have entirely opposing views on foreign policy. But they play tennis. That's crazy. No, I I don't know that. Yeah, Noam Noam Chomsky is like America needs to put the dick away and make entirely global amends. (laughs) And and fucking Kissinger is like we should just be at war with everybody. Like not quite that extreme, but they're they're dirtbags. Uh, so both you, both of them. No, I like Trumps. Uh, I mean, whatever. I, I don't want to put that. I'm just inundated. <laughs> I just remember in college, I was inundated with like people posting Chomsky quotes on Facebook, and it's like, all right, were they? Oh, you went to Santa Cruz. Yeah, yeah they, they were. Weren't like, they? Like, you gotta. That's the whole thing with like all like like the online activism. Like, right on. It's just please stop. I've seen all those Chomsky quotes. Stop acting like you came up with them yourself. <laughs> yeah, it's true. 
It's true. Um, Same thing with the Big Lebowski. No. That, yeah. <laughs> what What do you think about the fat Jewish? The the fat Jew? Oh, yeah. He's stealing uh, everyone's I jokes think, and shit. Yeah, well, he even stole his name from fucking Seth Rogen's persona. Oh, really? So, well, uh-huh. I mean, they're both <laughs> I didn't fat know that. Jews. Oh, really? Yeah. The, the, the booth guy liked it. <laughs> no, 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 I like it. I like it. So, so I don't do, know what's do you, real anymore. What do you think? Um, well, here's what I think what happened was he, it's sensitive he does, cause... well, here's, here's the thing is that the only reason it's an issue is because he's making money off of those stolen jokes, but he did, what he did is no different than what non-famous people do all the time, which is they post memes that they didn't fucking create. Other people create them. They don't, but here's the thing. You don't get a credit for every meme. However, once he did it early, like he hit Instagram at the right time was posting that shit got huge and then started making money and got representation and didn't go back and make amends in any kind of way. Um, so yeah, I get why there's backlash to that now, but if he, you know, never got more than like uh, 2000 followers, no one would care. Cause everybody is posting shit. They didn't, that's what the internet does. Right. That's what memes are. Right. Um, he, uh, I mean, as, as for as long as I've been following him and, uh, He's been crediting everyone that makes those memes. Lately, so I, I don't understand I've, I've how. Checked, I've checked. I guess, you know, like I said, there's some things. There's, I mean, there's a compendium of like 50 jokes that he posted that were from other people without credit. Without um, so, credit? Yes. Yeah, so I mean, he was doing it pretty rampantly. And like I said, well, he's obviously the fact ripping that he was making off. money off of it is where it's problematic for me. Anyway, if he's just doing that and like no one's paying him for it, then he's just some dude who's like not funny on his own. Who cares? But he's making money off of other people's other other people's jokes and not giving them any money or anything or credit. So that's where it's a problem. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now um, this is a part of a show uh, where we need your help. Um, okay. We uh, we're playing Cosby Roulette with a woman. <laughs> she didn't wake up. She's an undercover what cop. What the fuck is? We have her wrapped up in a shower curtain in the back I don't of the know white if I Bronco. Participate in this. Show. Listen to us. God damn it! It's part of being a guest. Uh, How? Uh, how are we going to get rid of this body? We need your advice. You how, lived in Philly. How, you know some get, mob guys. Get rid of the body? You're from I don't Orange know County. Any mob, dude. Isn't there a lake in Orange County we could dump her in? Yes, Lake Orange County. Sure, because there's a Lake Orange County. Wait, no, there is a lake. There's in a lake, in lake in Mission like, Viejo, and there's a lake yeah, in Mission Viejo. behind my house. But is that a good? What are we going to do? Where do we take her? You got any we, advice for us? We both jizzed in Lake Orange County. We're it's. Wait, we're the ones going who's down. we? We is you two, right? There's I'm a, not involved. There's definitely in a the, man-made lake in Placenta, and there's also a community placenta. in uh, – <laughs> Home in, of the uh, overdone placenta joke. The uh, – what's it called? In like Yorba Linda, I know there's like a lake, like a lakey. Well, hold area. on. There's, there's Do we even need a lake? Of water? Are we going to the ocean? I think there's a lake in Coto de Casa too. Y'all, y'all have seen Breaking Bad, right? Yeah. Just do what they did in episode two. Where do you get that shit? Huntington Harbor isn't uh, a lake, but you can park your boat there. Crack open a battery on hydrofluoric acid. Where where should we do this? Out in, in the desert? I don't know, uh, man. Corona Del Mar is really nice, it. but it's not it's not a lake. This this But I, Brendan, are you worried about your DNA from your jizz all over her? I mean you worried I mean, about I, that surviving? I, I, we have not established that I have jizzed in this lady. No, you have that Carl's we both bad have. Lagoon. You guys did. It's a oh. sensitive situation. That's why we're asking for your help. Why we are you asking? Oh, okay. Um I feel like in this one though, he participated. Why did I Oh there's no, Lake San Marcos, but that's San Diego. I, okay. I, he has I, an incredibly guilty uh I feel like he wants to get in to on the drive up to wherever we're going. It's fun when you pass those uh, <laughs> San Clemente uh, nuclear power. The, 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 the boobs out there? Yeah, but there's no yeah. lake there. But there is water inside the reactor, so that's kind of a lake. We know, could throw her in the reactor. In there. Throw her to Fukushima her? <laughs> I think that's a good answer. That, that might be we'll the best Fukushima. one. You know what? We just backed into it, boys. We're going to take her and throw <laughs> her into just, the reactor in San just, Clemente. I, I don't know. I just, this was just <laughs> that's a great answer. No, no. We're going to go down. with reactor. We're throwing her that's in the reactor. That's a great idea, Brendan. That it might be the best suddenly idea. Suddenly, everything got super dark real fast, and I just wasn't prepared for that shit. No, I know. And uh, we, <laughs> had to, we had to sneak that up Welcome on you. Welcome to my sex life. But please. hey, Fukus, uh, Fuku- uh, Fukushima. Right. Yeah, well, Fukushima, the corpse, and uh, everyone go home happy tonight. All right. I think you might be the first person to use Fukushima as a verb. <laughs> I, I'm just really happy that this is getting saved for, for posterity. Oh, it, it'll be there. The it'll, it'll be everywhere. And um, yeah, we'll blast this out to everyone. And you, every time you do something or like have a hit, we'll make sure to like use that to retweet this yeah. episode. Hey, by you, the way, you said you're trying to remember um, all the horrible things he said in this podcast when he was 26. Yeah, well, yeah, we're we're all fucked, dude. Can, can you see the headline like, now? Brendan condones dropping body in nuclear reactor. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's yeah. such a good fucking headline. You're going no, to hell, no bud. sympathy Sorry. for Fukushima victims. You're going to hell in the white Bronco. Make so, light of nuclear disaster. Jump in. Um, uh, do you have a YouTube channel? Oh, fart salad. Fart salad. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's and Big Bear Lake. There's also comedy. Lake Arrowhead. How many? How many? Uh, just uh, the one Hebrew Thunder video. But we're gonna. That's, have, a, that's it. Yeah. So far, we're gonna have three more videos coming soon. One Hebrew Thunder video and a couple other ones. Crowley Lake. Okay. Mammoth yeah. Lakes. Uh, also HebrewThunder.com. And then what was the channel? The channel you're gonna get started Lake up? Mead. Fart salad. That's the one. Oh, that's gonna be fart salad too. Yeah, that's fart salad. Okay, man. Well, you should have more videos up. You do a lot of video shit. Pump it out. You're you're 26. You got time, but put up everything. Yeah, I'm more Uh, guilty about this than the fucking game we just played. (laughs) (laughs) Lake Tahoe. Well, we wanted you to feel guilty. We wanted you to feel like you're going to hell. And um, I totally am going to hell. Don't ever put uh, this on your resume or job applications. I, I hope you're, I, you're I fucked. Hope it's a, there's an article with my name attached to it that's like how to steal shit from a university. So I'm, you know, <laughs> which will totally corroborate your Fukushima of the body. Hey, uh, you know what? Well, 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 let me tell you the truth. My uh, college won't recognize this show. Because yeah, you know we're a little offensive, and I went to Trinity Lutheran College, no, shit. and um, they they will not accept the show's page fan request. They uh, refuse to acknowledge us on Twitter. So you know what? I'll just tell you the truth. Those motherfuckers left the teacher lounge open, and I was on campus all the time. And I took at least twenty five hundred dollars worth of tea, coffee. Uh, 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 Are you sure the statute of limitations has run out on that? I don't I think mean, it has. Absolutely but, not. That's a very specific number. Hey, listen, not to mention all the coffee. murder. And, and you add all the um, microwave dinners that the teachers would leave in there, and then teachers would leave notes for the other teachers, yeah. and I'd read them, and I'd be the one taking all the food out of there. But having said all that, hopefully – uh, this uh, gets me affiliated with the school again, and uh, can get the White Bronco show buzzing around campus. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah, the Cosby Roulette is gonna get the, the Lutheran <laughs> school to fucking love you guys. I uh, I tried to tag a picture of me and Ron Jeremy, uh, uh you know, on nice, the on nice. the Facebook page there, and they didn't even accept you that. Crazy Wait, about Ron. Have Jeremy? I told that I met Ron Jeremy at Mel's Diner and he was smoking crack in the bathroom story on this show? I think yet? you have. Oh my god, that is amazing. Yeah, you know great. what's crazy about Ron Jeremy? Though? Maybe I have. Maybe is he I wasn't know. a terrible looking dude back in the day, like in the mid seventies? I don't know about that. Dude. When you get that much, no, ass, I, like I didn't say he was nice. good looking. I said he wasn't entirely. Dude, he terrible was greasy looking. back then. No, he just was like a Wait, hairy dude. Was he smoking now. crack with strippers? Was he by himself? It wasn't strippers. Like two more goth, gothic looking girls, and uh, he was smoking crack with one of them. Hey, hold on. If Ron Jeremy asked you to smoke crack with him, would you I do would it? I would to- totally I smoke think crack I would. with Ron Jeremy. I think you would. I think That's I'd be such like, a story, dude. Yeah, I smoked crack with Ron Jeremy. We fucking pulled our swords out. The I don't know if security I'm guards at Mel said that he does this weekly, that he comes with chicks, they pay for his dinner, he smokes crack, and he leaves. Oh that's, my that's his, God. That's his, that's his like, Sunday night. You'll be crazy to do it, Ron Jeremy. No, no, no. Instead of crossing swords, you pee outside and then cross the streams. That works. That works. It would be You'd like the Rio Grande running you into a gutter. You probably would catch something. <laughs> yeah. That would be a really quick way to get get a, get a series of STDs. Yeah, seriously. Uh, You're going to get every, syphilis <laughs> everywhere. Have, I you, did, have uh, you been ha- – have you, you go to the doctor. Have you had any unprotected sex partners? Uh, just Ron Jeremy. No, but I did – me and Ron Jeremy crossed streams one time. I did a podcast segment. We're going to douse him. you in bleach now. <laughs> called Cooking with Porn Stars, and he cooked breakfast for me and Ralphie's wife and this producer. I feel like people turning in – tuning into cook, Cooking with Porn Stars are like, yeah, Cooking with Porn – fucking Ron Jeremy. That's not the kind. Dude, he made just – James Dean, what is this shit? <laughs> He made no, the, the kicker, he stirs the soup with his dick. That's the it's the the gimmick. Right. No, 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 no. He made eggs and then it was just straight see how normal fucking it. eggs on it. And uh, then he put a piece of cheese, a regular craft cheese, he unfolded it with his hands and put it on there and I was like, "Oh man, I got to eat this shit." And he just put his hands all over it and I did. That's that's disgusting. So, I'm like a 30 a year porn vet when it comes did to Did Ron fucking... Jeremy use fertile eggs? That's a terrible pun. <laughs> I I don't I can't remember. I was uh I had too much going on that day, <laughs> trying to trying to dodge putting his fucking hand cheese in my mouth, but yeah. I did. Anyways, um, hey, it's been a pleasure having right. you come on. Uh, that's that's time. This shit runs by quick. All right. You know what I mean? You didn't really have uh, a long plan for how to get rid of the body, but you had the best plan. F- uh, Fukushima. <laughs> you got a dead body out there, man? <laughs> Head down cre- to San Clemente. We're creating Fukushima new verbs on this show. <laughs> Fukushima that shit. All San right. Clemente. We'll see you next week. All White right. Bronco Show. Sounds good. Yeah. You don't understand. You have. You just don't understand. Check it out, though. Mm-hmm.
sipping martinis, eating scampi, and leaving me making blunts disappear.